Right, hey, what's up guys, it's Weston here. So today we've got the review of the Logitech Z150 uh, computer speakers. So uh, to get this review started, we're going to talk uh, design and uh, features of these speakers. Right, so uh, to kick this off, we're going to start with design. Now you can see uh, they're quite a sort of a weird shape. Uh, you can see they've got this uh, really nice uh, cutout, which is sort of acts like a stand. I thought it was a base tube at first when I saw it on um, the pictures, but it's actually uh, goes all the way through. So it's just like a sort of design uh, aesthetic of these speakers. So you can see on the uh, left speaker we've got the uh, Logitech logo right there, and uh, all your main features and stuff are on uh, the right speaker. So if we look across. To the right speaker, you can see you've got your volume control right there. You've got an output for headphones and then an import for MP3 um, and uh, phones and stuff like that. So you can connect a 3.5 to 3.5 mil connection. So it means you don't have to use them um, with a PC. So you can actually use them from your smartphone or a phone or an MP3 player, which is really cool. Uh, now, in terms of design, they're really nice. Uh, as you can see, I went for the uh, all black version, but they do do a uh, white version of these as well, which are equally as nice. So you can see it's uh, just a single driver unit in each. Uh, the driver itself is a really nice uh, sort of glossy uh, midnight black, surrounded by uh, some foam, uh, which is just your dampener. So that's uh, your front room, and then around the back you can just see... Uh, the accent feature there and the cable uh, that connects the two speakers together. So then around the back of this one you can see you've got a little bit more stuff, I mean you've got your things for your screws here and then you've got your cable which connects to your PC, uh, your 3.5mm so that uh, goes into the back of your PC for audio and then you've got your connection to the other speaker. Also in the back you have your power supply which connects via this one so that's your connector which goes to your mains so it's not USB powered and uh, they've gone for mains power not sure why um, but anyway they've uh, done that instead so that's pretty much it I mean they're pretty basic speaker I mean they're really nice looking though I mean you can see they've got a really nice uh, sort of curved they're not too boxy looking but I think they're quite an attractive uh, speaker considering they are quite affordable. Uh, and if you're interested, I'll put all the uh, stuff down in the uh, description uh, where you can pick these up from. So in terms of features, I've pretty much covered all the features. I mean, the mains power supplied. You've got your 3.5mm for audio. You've got your connections here at the front. And that's pretty much it. So that means I can pretty much just jump straight in to uh, how these speakers actually sound. Now uh, I've recorded, pre-recorded two sound tests so I'm going to be playing them uh, very shortly. Right, so uh, here are the sound tests. So guys, uh, what did you think of him? Uh, did you think they sounded alright? Uh, personally, I think they're a bit average. Yeah, they're not 
as impressive as I thought they were going to be, basing um, my experience with the Z120s, which are the uh, smaller versions of these. And I was expecting them to have sort of the same level of uh, sound quality that they possess, but for some reason these are just a little bit, a little bit lacklustre actually. I mean, there's no real sort of presence to them. Uh, the Z120s sort of had a little bit of something about them. They had a sort of character, whereas these are just a bit blah. I mean, don't get me wrong, they sound nice, but there's nothing sort of special like there is with the Z120s. There's just something about them that makes them really special, whereas these are just a little bit blah. <laughs> it's just really the only word I can uh, describe them. Uh, the bass frequency is uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's not obviously going to be very deep because they're only a twin setup and there's no sub or anything like that. So you're not going to get your massive bass frequencies from these. They're adequate in the bass department. Uh, fairly detailed, but just not deep. So don't be expecting anything sort of like that. Your mid-range and your vocals is probably where these uh, speakers are best. They're really clear, uh, really crisp, um, not too colourised, so there's not sort of uh, over warm or over cool. They're just sort of nicely in the middle. The high frequencies again are really nice. Um, one of the strong points of these speakers. Again, nothing really to write home about, but they will be adequate. However. I would recommend that you do get the Z120s instead. I think they actually sound much better. Don't know why. I don't know whether it's the shape of the speakers or the drivers in them. I'm not sure, but for some reason they just sound better. The only thing that these have the advantage over the Z120s is your two connections right there. Other than that, I'd save myself a couple of pound or a couple of dollars and get the Z120s instead. So to wrap it up, uh, they've got really good uh, connections on the front if you're looking for that. If not, like I said, I'd uh, get the Z120s instead. Uh, the design is very nice. The sound quality is a little bit average. And uh, yeah, they're overall pretty uh, decent speakers. Right guys, that's been my uh, review and sound test of the uh, Z150s. Thank you so much for taking your time out to watch. I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video. And if you want, uh, you can show your support by subscribing to my channel. Uh, there's a little annotation on screen that you can click. And it'll just really be helping me out. Thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you on the next one.